I think it's astonishing that we are, what, five days on now from, and let's stop calling it a mini budget or a fiscal event. I mean, it was a massive, massive shift in economic policy that we heard on Friday, which is why we are seeing the country in a complete economic shock right now. And we're trying to work out what this means politically, because mm. we haven't heard from the people at the very top. And I've been calling round and just speaking to, I, I would call them pretty loyal. I mean, they don't stick their head above the parapet very often. The kind of MPs that are not cabinet level, but would normally go to Conservative Party conference. Many of them are staying away on Sunday, quite frankly, because they don't want people like what, us. What, from the Tory Party conference? They're staying away from the Tory Party conference because they don't really want to be asked questions. They don't want to appear on camera. They don't want to put their voices to things. But one told me, you know, we've made our bed and now we've got to lie in it. They think that the whole way that Liz Truss was chosen through the membership is what has led to this now. I mean, this person I'll say obviously was not a Liz Truss backer, but he believes that she was motivated by ideology that doesn't stand up to scrutiny with real life. And, you know, the, the other person I was talking to said, actually, she pissed off so many people or they did during the summer with their leadership campaign that went on and on and on. They're now thinking, why are we going to bother turning up to a Tory party conference where we don't feel like there is any joy to be had? But when I pressed them and said, does this mean that she's going to go or that letters will be handed in to, you know, this very complicated process, the 1922 committee, which which waits for people to show that they have a lack of confidence? They both told me no, you know, they, the, the Conservatives can't afford to do that now. They've had four periods in government. They've had four prime ministers. They're not going to get a fifth and nobody votes, you know, turkeys don't vote for Christmas. They're not going to vote themselves out. They're not going to ask for a general election, which would bring them out of power. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast.